Hi friends, here in this video, I will give the velocity ratio formula for worm and worm wheel. So, let's get started. Now, here is the diagram of a worm and worm wheel. This is called as a worm, which is a threaded shaft, we can say. And this is the axis of the shaft. Worm is connected to this effort wheel which is having a radius of capital R as we can see here. So the diameter of effort wheel would be capital D. And at the effort wheel a rope is attached with the help of which we can apply the effort. And worm is in contact with a wheel which is called as the worm wheel. Worm wheel is having number of teeth as we can see here. On the same worm wheel, a shaft is connected which is called as the load drum on which the load is wound. Now, since this is a simple machine, by applying a very less effort at the effort wheel, by pulling this effort wheel downward, the effort wheel would be rotating and similarly the worm would, ro would rotate and that would lead to the rotation of this worm wheel and when it rotates, the we can say that Suppose when we are pulling it downward, then the effort wheel is rotating in a clockwise direction and when it rotates clockwise, then the effort wheel would be rotating in an anti-clockwise manner and similarly the load drum would also rotate in an anti-clockwise manner and the load gets lifted. Similarly, if we want to lower the load, then we have to release this rope and when it gets released, the wheel would start to rotate in an opposite direction and then instead of wounding the rope onto the load drum it would get unwind and the load would be lowered. So this is a simple machine and the velocity ratio formula is given by the distance which is travelled by the effort wheel and that distance is given by the circumference which is 2 pi r for the effort wheel then for the load drum we can say it is given by 2 pi into small r. Now load drum is connected to the worm wheel. So in the denominator we have the number of teeth on the worm wheel. And finally 2 pi and 2 pi will get cancelled. And this capital T goes into the numerator. So the formula becomes r into capital T upon small r. where capital R is the radius of the effort wheel, capital T is the number of teeth on the worm wheel, not on the worm, but the number of teeth on the worm wheel and small r is the radius of the load drum. So this is the velocity ratio formula we have to use if we have effort wheel. Now in a similar attachment, instead of this wheel, when I remove this wheel and attach an handle over here, this handle is having a length of capital L, also called as the crank. So we are going to grip this handle and rotate this handle. So in that case the velocity ratio formula would be the length of handle because the distance covered into t which is the number of teeth on the worm wheel divided by small r which is the radius of the load drum. So this formula needs to be used if it is a worm and worm wheel with a handle and your r into capital T by small r is to be used if there is an effort wheel. So we can see by applying comparatively less effort, heavy load gets lifted and once we know the VR that is velocity ratio, we can find the percentage efficiency for a worm and worm wheel. At the end, if you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.